welcome to today's tech tip. Uh, what we've got here is kind of a, a gauge, a piece of a fixture, and it's a, it's a locating piece where the end of a tube uh, actually fits on this. And you can see there's a, a little mating surface up at the top that the, it presses up against. But what we're after here is the is the round part. We need to certify this gauge and make sure that this is a proper diameter. Um, so what I've done here is I've actually you can see in the program I've actually done three little circle outers and what I've done is I've taken these circle outer measurements and uh, for three points on each hit which is good enough for me and what I've done is if I double click on it you can see I've set the the depth on this circle outer uh, if we go to the sensor settings to set the depth to four millimeters so what that means is it's going to be taking these three hits for each one of these circle circle outers four mils uh, back from the edge so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the the uh, the modify uh, ribbon here and what we're going to do is we're going to convert these measurements so if I go just select convert I'm just going to do the first uh, circle measurement and just click on that you'll see what happens is it actually moves the points back from the edge and now there it's a multi-point surface it's actually a three-point surface measurement and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to repeat the command and I'm going to convert the next circle outer. And you can see it actually, the three points are now surface measurements and they're back at the depth at which I had the original uh, circle outer set to. So we're converting the circle measurement, the circle outer measurement, and converting it down to surface measurements. And we're going to do the last one here over on the other side. And what this does is this allows us to, we haven't done any circle measurements yet. We're just going to take a total of three on each one. So we've got 12 measurements. And now what I can do is after the probe has gone around and measured these, now I'm going to go to the construct ribbon and I'm going to say, I'm going to construct a, uh, a circle and I'm going to construct a circle from all of these. One, two, three, four. And now we have a constructed circle that goes through uh, all 12 of these points and then I can go in and I can go in and tolerance and report whatever needs to be uh, reported on the circle. Let's say it's the, the diameter and you know maybe I need to know what the diameter is and need to know the, the true position of it, the location of it. Or maybe I need the XYZs or whatever. So now I have instead of three little circle outers. I've just converted them all to surface measurements and constructed a circle through all of those measurements. And that way all 12 measurements, all 12 points I know are going to be all at the, from the same depths and they'll be all at the same uh, distance back from the edge uh, for all of those 12 points. Thanks very much for watching.